Namaste students. Another set of questions from our Maharashtra State Board textbook. Let's just see them. This is the final question, number of questions which we are uh, discussing. The rest we have done everything in the class. Three I posted in the video previous to this. That is lecture four of some basic concepts of chemistry. And now three more I am posting in this video. Remaining around 18 we have already discussed in the classroom. Okay. Let us see what is the question one in this video. In two moles of acetaldehyde. In two moles of acetaldehyde calculate the number of moles of carbon, number of moles of oxygen, number of moles of hydrogen and number of molecules of acetaldehyde. We go to the solution. We need not write the data again and again. So the solution is, we can see, very first thing we will write is acetaldehyde, that is ethanol, acetaldehyde is CH3CHO, let me write the molecular formula C2H4O. Now, since, or no need, which is this now is sufficient. So, now, one mole C2H4O, that is acetaldehyde, corresponds to or contains two mole carbon, 2 mole carbon, therefore 2 mole acetaldehyde corresponds to 4 mole carbon, very very simple, correct? Similarly, this is our A salt, now B, 1 mole C2H4O corresponds to oxygen. How many oxygen? 1 mole oxygen. Therefore, 2 mole C2H4O contains two mole oxygen atom. Right? Next, see? What's the next? Let us just see. One mole C2H4O corresponds to Four mole of hydrogen atoms. Therefore, two mole C two H four O corresponds to eight mole hydrogen atom. Now, see children over here. If somebody is asking you how many mole oxygen atom, so two mole, two mole oxygen atom. But if somebody is asking how many mole oxygen molecule, then one mole. O2 is one molecule, one mole molecule of oxygen, which contains two atoms. So, here two mole oxygen means one mole molecule of oxygen. And same way here, one mole molecule of hydrogen contains two atoms. So, eight mole atoms of hydrogen will be in four mole molecules. So, it will be 4H2, so eight, but that is not asked. So, our answer will end here. 
Now the last part of the question is D and that is, what is D? It should be a little bit that side. Yay. So you can see. Okay. D. Number of molecules. Number of molecules. Ew. We know the formula. Number of moles into Avogadro's number. Number of moles given is 2. 2 into 6 points to 2 into 10 raised to 23. Igloo 12 points for 4 into 10 raised to 23. Last thing we write is result space crunch. So I'm writing here but obviously in the final exam don't write like this. Write it down. So result. The only reason I'm solving these questions are simple children. The only reason we are solving is even if it is simple, if our way of writing in theory exam is not proper, we're not going to get proper marks or, or all the marks even when we are correct. So understand the pattern of writing. So in result, A, formal carbon, B, 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 2 mole oxygen, C, 8 mole hydrogen, D, 12 pounds of 4, 4 into 10 to 23 molecules. That's the way to write the result. I hope this is clear. You can further mention molecules of acetaldehyde, CH3, CH. Oh, okay, clear, clear, yeah, okay. Now next, two gram of the metal burnt in oxygen gave 3.2 gram of its oxide and 1.42 gram of same metal gave 2.47 gram of its oxide. Which law is verified? First step in the solution. Data and to find you right on your own. Data will be weight of metal, weight of oxide, weight of metal again, weight of oxide. Or in the solution you can mention the data like this. Base 1, base 2. Once you solve like this, no need to write the data. If you're writing the data and to find everything separately, then the pattern will change. So case one, weight of metal, U, two gram. Weight of metal oxide, U, 3.2 gram. Over here, weight of metal, U, 1.42 gram. Over here, weight of metal oxide, U, 2.47 gram. Here only we will find weight of oxygen. Weight of oxygen, 3.2 minus 2 will be 1.2 gram. Correct? No, you subtract this, you will get the weight of oxygen. Same way, you subtract this, you will get the weight of oxygen. So, 2.47 minus 1.42 will be equal to 5.8 0.85 gram. We can do simultaneously. If we solve like this, no need to write the data because we've already written all the data in the calculation, that is in the solution. Now we will say we can compare any one side. Say 0.85 gram of metal oxide. needs 0 0.85 gram of not metal oxide 0 0.85 gram of oxygen combines with 1.42 gram metal therefore 0 0.85 gram combines with 4.2 gram metal so 1.2 gram will combine 
with so 1.42 in 1.2 upon अभी तुम इसे सॉल्व करेगा तो ये दो ग्राम ही आएगा meaning they are in constant proportion that is m is to o metal versus oxygen metal versus oxygen both the places here it is 2 here it is 1.2 here it is 1.42 here it is 0 0.85 this is the same ratio so result the data the data the data verifies verifies law of constant proportions or the law of definite proportions is verified by the given data Calculate number of atoms in each of the following. So data. Data like no good beta. Moles of nitrogen, ELU 0.4. Moles of sulfur, ELU. No, moles are not given. So weight of sulfur, ELU 1.6 gram. Next, to find. Hope you can see the board. Yes. To find number of atoms, nitrogen, ilu, kushma, kushma. Number of atoms, sulfur, ilu, kushma, kushma. Solution. Can you see the bug? Let me just check. No, little, little, little bit. Okay. Now the solution. The very first thing we need is molar mass of nitrogen, ilu. Ek ka 14, to 14 plus 14, ilu 28, 28 gram per mole. Similarly, molar mass, sulfur, ilu 32. If you remember, we had learned the Atomic mass and atomic number from 1 to 50. We have learned that and I made you learn that as a first thing before starting anything in chemistry. What's the harm? Some some of you say, ma'am, the, 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 all that will be given in the paper. Are you? No, in all questions it won't be given. You should know. So learn it if you haven't. Now, N is equal to Given mass upon molar mass. So given mass is no. We are already provided with the mole in case one. So I just we just erase this. We erase this because either to mass hai, either baad mein hum aate hai, pehle part one solve karte hai, uska case one. Then we move to the case two. So moles are given and we want number of atoms. So number of atom from number of moles is number of mole molecule obviously because they have written nitrogen means molecule into atomicity into Avogadro's number a little bit there Avogadro's number. So moles are number of mole molecules are 0.4 atomicity it's N2 to so 2 into 6 points to 2, 10 raised to 23. Just find the answer on your own, okay? Space crunch. Find the answer on your own. Now, moles of sulfur igloo. Given mass is 1.6 upon molar mass is 32 igloo. Chalo, jaldi, jaldi, bolo. 1.6 upon 32. 1.6 upon 32. 1.6 upon 32. Nay, I am. Could solve karo. I cannot tell. Now, number of atoms equal to number of mole. Yeah, jo aya. Number of mole into Avogadro's number. So substitute kar dena. Number of mole 16 upon 32 into Avogadro's number 6.02 into 10 raised to 23. 
क्योंकि ये आएगा थर्टी टू ये कट होगा मल्टीपल चॉइस क्वेश्चन एग्जाम सी टी एंड इन जे ऑब्वियसली दिस इज जस्ट नथिंग इन जे जे क्वेश्चन वेन वी मूव टू दैम some three questions of je level we solved in class sheets and our more class sheets will come and then we will see exactly what are the je questions in some basic concepts of chemistry anyways bye bye take care love and blessings to all of you over there